How's it going, guys? Check it out. The devs over at Filament Games were kind enough to send me a key for their closed beta of Roboco. So we're going to check out the campaign mode here and see what is what. I've seen Scrapman play this game. We're going to check it out. Sandwich server, you bet. Let's do it. Deliver a sandwich. All right. It ain't rocket science, but... This, this game has some potential. The building system in this game is very, uh, it could be tricky. You could get pretty complicated if you wanted. There's like gears and all kinds of stuff. Okay, here we are, the floppy people. Yes, the peoples will be floppy. There's a robot, yeah. Now, the build system in this game can be a little intimidating at first, but it's uh, you can catch on to it. Again, you can get quite complicated because there's quite a few parts in here. Like when it gets into the mechanical stuff where you start getting uh, like big flywheels almost. It looks like a flywheel. Like look at the size of this thing. It's huge and skinny and flat. And again, it must be connected to rods. Structural, we've got lots of cool cube shapes. Again, endless potential as far as building things that way. Joints, we got constant velocity joints, universal joints, ring bearings, a couple of different types of bearings, uh, ball and sockets, small spring joint. We've got hinges, a couple different kinds of hinges. Mechanical stuff again. There's an elevator. This actually climbs rods. Can't wait till I can understand how that all works. Powered stuff. We got a pincher. We got a couple of servo motor motors. We have a LED a vacuum and even a laser pointer in case we need that. Here's our basic stuff, wheels and such. We already have basic stuff here, so I'm not going to really be too concerned with that. So I want to get rid of this head for one thing. Because it's got a... Well, actually, we can leave that on there. I'll just put it at the front. It's got a uh, a spring on it, so it bounces around all the time. So it can't connect anything, connect anything to that. Okay, so we have a servo here. Well, let's keep this, like, say, in the middle. So we need to be able to deliver sandwiches to this table. Onto the table without touching the table and deliver the sandwich upright on the table. Well, I don't think they're going to pay for it if you bring it to them upside down. Here, man. Build it yourself. Here's some lettuce and tomato. Chop it up, man. You know how to make a sandwich, right? All right. So we can rotate this, and we just want to put a platform on here. We'll go with some nice lightweight cubes on top, and then we'll scale that up. Uh, 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 so if that's two, I think it's like 15 off the ground, I believe. Deliver sandwich. Okay, well, we're going to find out here soon right enough. Okay, so we got that, and then we're going to put... Another one on top here that we're going to make like a platform. We'll scale this out this way and at least out that way so we're not running into whatever we're trying to deliver stuff to. And then we'll make it wide like this and like this. Again, nice thing about this game is you can select this part, select this part while you're holding down control, select this part and then hit G and it will group them all together so that they are now one piece. And they can be moved around like one piece it still seems like it's sticking out on this side so while you have that selected if you want you could ungroup them ta-da and then select just this and we go to putting this in a wee bit all right okay let's build that in with the space bar and we have the driving and steering and we have rotating all right so let's let's see how close that is to the table so if we drive to the sandwich delivery area, give me a sandwich lad, thank you, let's zoom back a bit here to see what we're dealing with, hey watch it buddy, so are we actually able to, uh, uh, let's see, deliver the sandwich to the customer, who is the customer, I like how specific they are, is it the dude over here that's talking, or is it, do they mean like anyone? It's obviously not this guy. Yeah, less coffee, buddy. Less coffee. Oh, look at this. This guy's wearing a mask. Oh, no, he's got a beard. <laughs> I thought he was wearing a mask. Starting to see things. Oh, I'm going to lose my sandwich. Driving like a madman. I can hold shift and you get half power. So let's see. Are we even... Oh, target zone. Right on. Okay, so... Um... Can I just, can I yee-haw it? Uh, go! 
Oh, oh, here, man. You ordered this? Here you go. Ta-da! Right on. Oh, deliver a sandwich to the customer. Great. Onto the table. It's on the table. Yeah, you like that? Write down. Yeah, write it down, man. Write it down. New robot. Did awesome job. Write it in your book, man. Hey. Hey, man. Trying to work here, buddy. All right. Complete. All right. So here we are. So uh, so we need... Let's go into build mode. We need something to push, push the sandwiches off of there. So we are going to do a... Um, um, um... We've got a wee small piston. All right, well, let's put a small block on the back side, like this. And then we'll take a wee piston. Well, I can put it there from now. Grab it like this, and uh, we'll hit number three, and that'll give us our rotate tool. Spin it right around, like that. And then we go back to number one, select tool, and we'll connect it right there. And then we'll put another small block on the front like this. And what's great about this game is that I can come to the connection tool here, the joint tool number five, and click on it and it shows me everywhere where it's touching. If it's touching something else. But I don't want this block to be connected to this block down here. So I can collect, connect on this point here, click it, and then I can hit E and it rotates through the multiple different See, it's fixed, or rotate, or fixed. But you know what? If I just click on it like that so that it's white, I can hit delete, and it's disconnected. That's wonderful. That's a great feature. I like that. So now my piston will actually move, uh, unless I, I've got to disconnect this one here as well. Delete. Thank you. All right. So now we can go back to number one. Select this block and go number three. Oh, no, number two. No, number four. There we go. I'm just guessing. I'll get it eventually. And we want to drag this out this way. And drag this out uh, that way. And that should... You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go get some uh, structural blocks like that. I'm going to get a nice curved block like this. Put it there. We'll just rotate. Oh, no, that's perfect like that. All right. Another nice thing with this game is copy and paste works. Control C, Control V. So we'll select our piece. Control C, Control V. Copies another piece. Beauty. Select that one. We'll give it a rotate uh, right around this way. Come on. Spin it right around like that. I'm going to go to my joint tool here to make sure I'm not... Oh, yeah, see, we're connected down here. We don't want that. Delete. Delete. That's just wonderful. I love that. All right, now we need to set some controls here on our piston so that we can push the plates off of there. So we need to select... Uh, we need to go to number one mode. Select the piston, small piston. Come up here. Yeah, okay, maximum velocity. That's going to be really fast. We're going to set that to 0 0.1. Hit enter. Max force, uh, it's, that seems like a lot, but we'll see. Start on, no. Start on until you start. Return to origin, yes. I do want it to come back eventually. Yeah, I might as well turn that on, eh? All right, so now we'll go to the controls and we are going to set that as a left-handed, a right-handed control, sorry. So I, J, K, and L. Uh, J and L right now to go left. That's for the, uh, I believe, to rotate. So we'll use I and K. So I will extend small piston. We'll move it out. And we'll make K make the small piston move in. All right. So let's hit the space bar. Give it a test. I... All right, this rotates, and this is not moving. I and K is not making that move at all. So that means it must be connected somewhere, or we don't have enough power. So we'll come back into here, and we'll check our connection tool. Oh, how did that come back like that? That's not supposed to be connected there. Like that, there we go. Build it in. I. Oh, why? doesn't go very far, does it? Make it longer. And I... 
Yeah, maybe one more would be a wee bit better, eh? But you know what would be easier than that? It's just doing this. Looks like any time you change your structure, you're going to have to check your connection points. Make sure that they haven't re-welded themselves down anywhere. All right, spacebar, build that in. I takes it right to the edge and then back nice and calm. All right, let's try it, shall we? Deliver a sandwich to the customer. No bloody problem, lad. That's what it's made to do. There's the laser. Drop it right there, lad. Ooh. Ooh, never thought about the size of the sandwich. You got any smaller sandwiches, lad? Like, maybe a croissant or something? You know, this. Who uses triangle bread? You ever seen that before? What kind of place is this? Alright, well, let's attempt to do it anyways. That guy right there. Oh, you're just. Oh. Hey, can I get another sandwich? Actually, I'm going to come back here and. and, uh, and I'm just going to rebuild something here, right quick. So can we still reach the end of the table? Of course not. But do you think it was going to work properly the first time or something? You know, that's actually, it's a pretty big plate. We might be able to get off there like that. All right, sandwich. Hey, Chuck, hit me with a sandwich, would you? All right. Holding down left shift so we have small amounts of power. Hey, don't get in my way, buddy. Working here. Robot of the future taking over. Yeah. You just keep trucking around there, Smiley. Good evening, sir. Did you order the triangle bread sandwich? You're very strange indeed, aren't you? Allow me to deliver your sandwich thusly. I'm afraid that's all I can do. I'll be leaving now in a hurry. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, bullshitting! <laughs> Alright, that, that's what I'm talking about. Now, without touching the plate. Okay, deliver the sandwich upright. Yeah, got all of those, man. Told you. Alright, let's see what else you got. You want me to build a walker? Wood and chips. Okay, required bits, gears, and stuff. Alright. Split the logs. It's time to split some logs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think I remember this. I think I remember screaming at the screen. Try this, try that. Now I get to try it. All right, yeah, okay, yeah, I understand. You've got this mock setup of outside, inside a warehouse. You think they would have got the matrix right by now? Okay, cut down the trees. All right, well, we're going to start with a nice, heavy base. Yoast like this. We're going to make it... Uh, little wider than that. We're going to make it like this. So if we're cutting down trees, then we're going to want to... So we got blades are going to be sticking out. Okay, okay. I'm trying to visualize in my mind's eye. We need something for sawing, right? Keep cut trees in the target zone. Remove branches before cutting the trees. Load the logs into the truck. Oh, look at this. Remove the branches before cutting the trees, but the first thing they tell you to do is cut down the trees. Trick questions, man. Trick questions. They're on every test. Oh, hey, nope. Just this. Look at that. Alright. So let's see what we got here for parts. We got the basic stuff. Okay, well, let's get ourselves a piston first, I guess. Put a piston on there. And we're going to need something to rotate. I know we are. So we're going to grab uh, this one here. And this little wee servo motor, we're going to set it right there for now. We're going to select this one and move it out the way. Select that one, put it right on there. Yes. All right, now do we need a rod in there? Let's see. I can put a rod in there like that and then deselect and grab this one. And no, it won't go in there like that. Pull it up like that. There we go. Okay, so now this here servo motor. We should be able to set a control for that. Uh, we can have a rotation of... Should be able to go all the way around, eh? I figure. So we'll make that 90. Or maybe we'll even make it 180. And we'll make this one 180 as well. And that's almost a full circle. And it really doesn't ma max RPM. We want to spin fairly slow. 
We want control, man. It's all about control. Max torque is all good. Acceleration time, return to original, and oscillate. Uh, no. So that one is all good. Uh, let's go to the controls for rotating. We're going to make that J and L. So we're going to come out here to our right hand. J spins the servo motor forward and L spins the servo motor spins in reverse okie doggy day okay and we're going to make I and K for the uh, piston there so I makes the small piston move out and K makes that small piston move in okie dokie Let's uh, build that for a quick seconds. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, what? I think I found a glitch. I think I found one. So it's one of these situations where we have to put a block on here and then put this on the block. Does that fix our problem? Well, it's not freaking out. And we rotate it. There we go. Problem solved. We have up. We have down. We have rotate. All right, let's put some wheels on this bad boy. Okay, so I should be able to build that in. We have steering. He's very fast. Uh, how high are these branches? A little higher than that. And we don't have a saw or nothing, but that's okay. We got a good build going here. Okay, so we got that. We can actually extend that up a little. So we will mix these taller like that, and then we need uh, structural joints, mechanical powered. What do I need here? A large piston. Why is it telling me to use that? Sure, I'll put it on there, man. All right, we got a small piston. We got a large piston. We have to set up some different controls for that. So we need a uh, 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 powered mechanical. Yes, we need saw blades and bits and things. Saw medium, saw blade, saw large, saw blade, small saw blade. Well, that's cool. How big is a medium? Yeah, that's not bad. So I'm gonna need some some place to put that on, man. Put a block on top, man. And then we would have put a saw on there, man. Mechanical, man. Let's get a medium saw. We're going to put a saw on there. You see what I saw, man? So like this, and then we can kind of rotate. Okay, let me try this. Oh, no, no. Hey, settle down there, Mr. Big Piston guy. So, I, K. Spinny and for cutting. Okay, let's see if this thing can even cut anything. So we can drive to here, man. Says I'm supposed to remove the branches before cutting the trees. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, Holmes. I can't reach that high, man. Remove the branches. We're going to hit the space bar. Build that in. There, tell me I can't reach it now. Okay, let's zoom back a little bit here. And just so you guys know, I also have this, this comes in a trial version, in a VR version as well, which is a lot different. <laughs> From my perspective anyways, it would look a lot the same on a two-dimensional screen like this, but, uh, ta-da! But if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you're into uh, watching me try and play this in VR. Okay, so can I just poke them? Yeah, you do a poke-poke. Poke, poke the branches off. Ta-da! Okay. We got another one up there. It's alright, we haven't used our full extent. That's full extent, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Kind of do it, lot. Not a giant. Put that on there. Maybe we're even going to go with a big saw. Not the large saw. I mean, all this small saw crap. Alright, no, just this one. Bye bye.
All right, so this one here is going to be, this is our tree cutter. We're gonna cut down the trees. So this will have like a spinning saw on it. Are these, this is a gear, that's not a saw. No, that's, I think they're like spinning blades. Basics, let's grab a block and we're gonna scale that out to a normal size, like that. Our blade is gonna stick off of there on a rotating thingamajigger. You guys know what a thingamajigger is, right? So, oh, actually, let's select that and get rid of that. And let's put a small piston on there, like that. Then we'll put a brick on here. And then we're gonna put a servo, a DC motor that spins, it spins like a crazy bastard. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna put a rod in there. Ta-da! And then we're gonna go back to our mechanical, is that what it was? I take that big blade, stick it right on there. We're gonna end up chopping ourselves. Is that all we get for controls? Can I add, add a transmitter? Oh, okay, so E and Q, sure. Let's make E DC motor five to spin forwards. Okay, build it in. Well, don't start out, but we can test E. Oh, oh we're gonna be cutting trees now, lads. All right, Mr. Piston here. Mr. Piston, all oh, the time has come. All right, so no, I don't want you starting on. So let's go in here and say, settle down. Uh, I don't even know if we need to extend that, but we're going to make that Q to extend that out and back. So we'll use Q because it's here, and that is small piston number two, and that will toggle out. So let's build that in. Q will toggle that out. E will start it up. E turns it off. Q toggles it back. Q toggles it back. Apparently not. I remember to put that on. Return to origin. All right. So Q out. Q is back. Can I spin it here? Yes. Look at that. Don't even need to extend it. Now, should we be able to move this? To the back, maybe. And off to this wee a bit to the side. We'll try that. So we'll cut the branches, cut down the trees, and then we need to get the logs. So we need something to pick up logs. Uh, a small piston, yes. We're going to put a small piston here. I'm not sure if that's going to be able to grab it, but let's have some controls for it. So what is it going to do here? That is powered pincher number one. Maximum force, advance, start closed. Well, we can have it open. Custom keyboard controls. So we want to add a new for our, so, First of all, small piston number three to toggle out. Okay, let's say number one. Keyboard map to number one. So number one makes the small piston toggle out. So that should come back in automatically as long as our piston is set to return to origin. Okay, our small pincher is gonna be turned on by number two. Custom keyboard, add a new one. Power pincher uh, toggle, and then we want to keyboard map that to two. Okay, let's try that. No, of course, it wants to start out. No, we don't want you to start out. Number two closes it, okay. Number one should toggle that out. Okay, so it tells me that's not gonna be big enough, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's give this a go. So, we're gonna take down some uh, some branches here first. Chop, chop, a chop, chop. Ta da! Alright. Keep cut trees in the target zone. Did I do that? Apparently not. Oh, the, maybe these trees. Okay. So now we can bring that in. And maybe we could even rotate it out the way. So now we need to uh, chop down the trees and then try and load them in there. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. But anyways, let's keep the trees in the zone. So we're going to cut them on the inside, on this side here. This tree's just going to fall on me and kill me. 
All right, so we know we got this one can raise it up. We don't need to raise it up. We're going to keep it right there. And we're going to chop this down in a heartbeat. Watch this. Come on, dig it out now. Keep it cutting. We ain't got a lot of torque on there, don't look like. But it's working. There you go. As long as it falls in this direction, that's all right. There we go. Get out of there. All right. Same here. There you go. There you go. A little bit on this side. Just a little bit on this side. Woohoo! All right. That's two parts. Now I've got to load the logs onto the truck. Now this is where I don't think my... Uh, so let's turn that off. Get that out of the way. I don't think my little arm here is going to do much. Number one, let's see if we can grab it. Number, number, number two, grab it. No. All right, guys, I think we're going to leave that one here. I think that's about as far as I can go for now. I still got to figure out how to use some of these parts and uh, make everything work. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.